Good morning. My name is Dodu. I'm postdoc in the theory and the simulation of materials group at the EPFL. Today, I will briefly introduce the OSCAR project. OSCAR is short for Open Software Service for Classroom and Research, which is an open science educational hub. One main technique for OSCAR project is to create interactive web applications. We are aiming to create infrastructure for interactive teaching. Through using normal computer technologies and software, we aim at improving students' effective learning with a hands-on learning approach. We create and provide tools to develop web-based educational interaction visualizations, which bridge research and education. The web applications don't need complex installations or specified computational environments. The user just need to open the link in a web browser. Our technology and approaches are easily to be reused by instructors and professors. Here is one example to show the central limit theorem. As one can see, it is web page. It contains text to describe the knowledge. Furthermore, users can choose the slider for parameters and choose the distribution tab with the drop-down widget. The plot will update dynamically. This widget is rendered from a Jupyter notebook. All the source code are hidden from the web page. We use Python as a programming language and use Jupyter as a programming environment. The widgets are core for the interactions. We use available widgets from iPad widget package, for instance, sliders, drop down, and the text area buttons. The figure on the left shows radio buttons from iPad widgets. We also use other package. For example, we use the NGL wheel as a monitor visualizer, which is shown on the right. We also develop our own custom widget. We make them simple to make new applications. We provide extensive documentation to teach you how to use the widget tools and technologies. Furthermore, we develop advanced widgets and tools that can be easily reduced by many teachers and researchers. In the following, I will present three widgets which, are, which was developed by us. The first is called the widget JSMO. This widget wrapped the popular JMO monitor visualizer, which made it possible to use a visualizer inside Jupyter notebooks. JMO has a very powerful script language system. One can run the script by calling us widget.script echo. Here set background yellow will change the background color to yellow. Load the structure by using the structure variable. Install the widget by pip install widget underscore JSMO. We also use NGL view as a monitor visualizer. NGL view is very fast to load, in, load large files. It can load a large cube file instantly without loadable uh, latency. You can check more information for this widget at our OSCAR GitHub repository. The second widget is an inter interactive parrot table. One can change the background color of different uh, elements. The user can group elements into different states, and in each state, you can choose custom colors. The elements are clickable. By clicking the elements, the users can uh, select elements and toggle uh, states. The elements can also be disabled, which prevents collecting. One can define callback functions from the collect event. Install the widget by peep. The figure at the button show how to call the widget from Python. States variable is how many different states you want to group, and you can define the color for each state. The select un under select underscore elements is a dictionary, which contains the select elements and their states. Here, carbon is in state zero, silicon is in state one, and the germanium is in state two. We define the color from state zero to two as red, green, and blue. You can see their colors in the periodic table. 
The green color elements are the disabled elements, which are not collectible. So far, all these widgets are used inside the Jupyter Notebooks. In order to uh, create web apps, we use a tool called Walla. Walla can render the Jupyter Notebooks into web pages. It has all code cells and only shows the markdown and output cells from Jupyter. For example, on the left is the Jupyter Notebook for the Perot Table app. By using Walla to render it, one can obtain the web app on the right. Walla has been incorporated as a Jupyter sub-project. Walla has uh, also supports the usage and the development and the templates, which can be used to decorate web pages. We develop our own Oscar Walla template. Walla can also deploy the Unbinder Hugo, Hugo app engine. It can also be run as a private server. You can find many web applications at walla uh, gallery.org. There are two ways to run Walla. When using Walla, a standalone application, type Walla in the terminal. Enable underscore MB extensions allows you to show the custom widgets. One can also choose the templates by using the template argument. Here, one can see that we use our Oscar template. Walla can also be run as a Jupyter server extension by calling the slash walla slash render slash inside the URL after Jupyter port and before the pass for the notebook. It will render the notebook and show the web app. In the Walla render web apps, students can see the interactive visualization, no boilerplate code. However, we still want the student to do some programming or computational tasks. We want to encourage students to write self-contained functions rather than a long script. For example, a function updates the neighbor list in a molecular dynamic simulation. So we developed the third widget called widget code input. The widget creates a code input area which allows the user to define a function. For example, the user on the left shows the code creates a half complicated function with an instruction. It has repeatedly be given the function name and the input parameters. It also shows an instruction that we want the user to write with a power function. The figure on the right shows that we can complete the function in the widget. Later, the function can be used by calling the get underscore function underscore object. The my underscore function becomes the defined power function. When the function change, you can call the get underscore function underscore object to update it. In our web apps, all the code cells will not show in the web page, but this code input widget can be shown in the widget in the web as a widget. In order to distribute the web apps, we use a BIDAR technology. BIDAR allows us to share web apps with many remote users. It is powered by BIDAR Hub. The figure shows how BIDAR Hub works. Firstly, we need to initiate a public repository at GitHub, which contains the Jupyter Notebooks. Wrap to Docker converts a public Git repository into a Docker image. Then the Docker image will be hosted and run by Jupyter Hub. The user will get a URL link. When clicking the URL, the Byte Hub will check whether the doc image is up to date and then deploy it. So it's usually very slow to run the binder for the first time after a new commit in the Git repository. Practical, we use the MyBinder dot org as a binder hub which is free to use the first step is to create a public git repository at github here is example for a quantum mechanism course materials on the left is a git repository at github normally 
we need to use the requirements.txt to install Python package by pip. We also need to use the post builder to enable the widget in the Jupyter lab. The Jupyter underscore configure.json file is a configuration file for Walla. Here you can see that we use the Oscar template. On the right, you can see that other configuration files can be used with binder. For example, apt.txt will install package by using apt-get inside the Docker container. After setting up the repository, we need to go to mybetter.org webpage. We input the information for the repository name and branch. In order to obtain the web apps, we need to call the Walla server extension by putting slash Walla slash render slash before the notebooks parse. Remember to use URL instead of file. Then we obtain the URL from our, uh, our applications. One can also copy the binder budget and uh, use it in a readme file. If you want to show the notebooks uh, open by Jupyter Lab, you can use the slash lab slash tree slash in the URL. Finally, I would like to show you how to create a web app with the widget and the Walla in less than 10 minutes. The web app is a simple structure builder and visualizer. Here, I will give you an example to use the NGL view and the periodic table widget to create a simple web applications. First, we need the text area to input the name, the molecules, which is from the IPI widget. We obtain the molecule structure for ASC build molecule function. We show the structure with the NGL view molecular visualizer. We also want to highlight the elements of the structure in the periodic table widget. We use Voila and our Oscar template to present the web app. In the first step, we just uh, loading all the Python package. We need ASC, we need the widget periodic table, NGL view, and the iPad widget. We create the NGL view visualizer with the following as a default structure. We get the following structure from the molecule function. We set the cell, we center it, and send to the NGL visualizer. Then we need the text area where we input the name of the molecule. We also need the periodic table since we use fullerene as the default structure, we select a carbon element as the default, where we use red color to highlight it. We also define an update button. Every time we click the update button, it will call this on button click function. Inside the function, it obtains the molecule name from the text area, and then use the molecule function to get the structure, and then send to the NGL molecular visualizer. The parent table also update the select elements. We displayed all these widgets. Then we use voila to render this notebook. So here is the, out, here is the result from the Walla. We can see Walla hid all these uh, code cells. It only shows the markdown with the title and some description. It shows the old output like the widget. Here we have the text area, the update button, the NGL wheel with the full ring as a default structure. We have the periodic table where carbon is select and highlight with red color. 
when we change the molecule to water and click update, then we have the water molecule. In the periodic table, the select element has changed to hydrogen and oxygen with red color. This web page is decorated by Walla uh, Oscar template. We have Oscar logo on the top bar. We also have footer for Oscar. On the top right corner, we have a button to show how busy the Jupiter kernel. In this example, we briefly show you how we use our widgets and the notebooks, Jupyter, also with Walla to create web applications. In this example, I run the web app locally on my laptop. As mentioned in previous slides, one can create a data repository and use MyBetter to deploy and distribute the web applications. In the presentation, I briefly introduced the OSCAR project. In OSCAR, we use state-of-the-art computer technology and softwares to deliver knowledge. We create interactive web applications with tools such as the Python, Jupyter, Walla, and Binder. We develop new widgets and tools which can be easily reused by instructors and professors. We teach people how to use our tools and approach to develop their own apps. We aim at improve teaching and learning efficiency by in a computational and interactive way. Finally, I would like to present the OSCAR team and thank my supervisors. I would also like to thank the EPFL Open Science Fund to support the OSCAR project. Thank you for your attention and you are very welcome to use our softwares and tools. You can visit our homepage at oscar.org for more information.